Hello guys, welcome once again. Last time we have learned about how to add your own images to the I report, and in this video, I will tell you how to pass a query from your NetBeans Java program to your I report. So, let's get started. First of all, I will go to my NetBeans project and last time I have made this button few videos ago if you remember and when I go to its event action action perform this code we have written in order to open uh, the I report from your button click event so if you don't remember this code go few videos back and see it I will go further in this code or I will add some more things like queries in this code and then we will try to execute that query so so let's get started first of all what you need to do is the first line in which you have defined your path of your grxml file for i report just give us double slash before that because we don't need this line anymore and instead of this line i will add one more line which is jasper design I will name this variable as JD is equal to J R XML format. loader grxml loader dot load and after that give semicolon and in here instead of null you copy the same path which you have used in the above code which we have given double slash and just sorry what I will do is I will provide a double quote first and then I in between I will paste my path okay this is my path and then in the next line what you will do is you will write a query so string sql is equal to and in here the query what the query will be first of all go to your jasper report and go to your design and in here where you are designing or your raw Jasper report is go here at the top and you can see design XML preview and after preview you can see a little database symbol just click it 
and you will see the query so the problem with Jasper report is we have already connected the Jasper report with the database and we have used this query to connect Jasper report with database so the basic structure of your query must be like this select star from employee ID so I will copy this and I will go to my NetBeans program and I will play paste it now after that you can change your query according to your requirement for example you can add order by name or whatever so after that you can add your requirement what you want to do with the your database or your table this first few words of the line or query will be or must be same as your query you have used in your i report database so and after that it's your will what you want to do with your query i have added order by name i can also say i want to show the table where employee age is between something or something or whatever query you want to execute after this code and then in the third line what you will do is you will write j r d design query and I will name it as new query is equal to new and I will once again copy this and after new I will paste it and to bracket and bracket closed and after that I will write or I will just copy this new query variable paste it here dot set text and this string SQL variable will come here up in the text brackets and in the next line what you will do is you will write jasper design dot set sorry jasper design dot okay so instead of jasper design i need to copy its variable name so my jasper design variable name is jd i have used so i will write jd dot set query and in the bracket this new query variable will come 
so these are the four or five lines you need to write in order to execute your query using NetBeans so let's see how our program looks like when we run our program run so our program is running now and when I click my I report it should open I think so it says something is wrong so I will check what is wrong yes so what I, I have done here is previously the in this code I have used and I have given a double slash or I have deactivated this line of code by providing double slash and this report variable is used here but instead of this report variable I need to put JD variable because I am using Java design variable now so instead of this report paste JD and now when I run the program it must work I think so so my program is running now and when I press I report now the query is executed and it's it is order by name now suppose I want to see the report and I want to see this age into ascending order right now you are seeing the ages in random order so 20 20 29 24 25 I want to see this age in ascending order so what I will do is I will go here in my code and instead of select star from employee ID order by name I will write order by age and let's see our query works or not and I will press I report and now you can see age is order in ascending order 20, 20, 20, 22, 23 and 4 and so forth and so forth so I know by this that my query is working from NetBeans one more trial I want to do for example I want to show the table in which only those employee will appear whose age are in between 20 and 22 for example what I will do is I will take two variables int 1 int 2 I will change this variable age 1 age 2 so my age 1 variable is equal to 20 my age 2 variable is 22 and this I will use here I will write where age where age between age 1 and age 2 and order by age so this must show me the employees whose age are in between 20 and 22 years so let's see our code works or not I will press I report and bam 
in my report I will see only those employees whose age are in between 20 and 22 years so in this way you can pass your queries from NetBeans Java to the iReport I hope you have learned something new from this video please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now